So we are talking about the movie Walking Dead in the West, originally known as Cowboy Zombies. Now this is a very low budget kind of horror B movie and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. This is a zombie film set in the Wild West. Now, I'll repeat again, this is an extremely low budget film, so don't be expecting any high production values here. And I always feel, when you're looking at a low budget film, you've kind of got to give sometimes the benefit of the, of the doubt when it, when it comes to production, because they simply can't afford to do certain things. So with that in mind, let's talk about Walking Dead in the West. Directed by Paul Winters. Uh, so the, the story focuses on this kind of small town, and there is a sudden kind of flash in the sky and it essentially turns anyone who is dead into a into a zombie basically they'll come back to life and this includes um you know ones that are buried in the ground right up to anyone who is uh, who has just died so there's quite a lot of them and it focuses on this uh, this group of survivors that as they're kind of banding together and they're from all walks of life there's all sorts of different characters here so it's almost like the fast and furious but in the old west for zombies basically minus the cars so kind of nothing like it but you get where i'm going there and uh, obviously the zombies are attacking these guys kind of want to escape and get to a safe haven and that is pretty much a movie so what did i think of walking dead in the west i've got to say this is one of the uh, one of the most um slowest and kind of low impact zombie movies i've seen it just comes across as everyone's kind of just like yep kind of strolling around taking their time it's really kind of low impact and kind of low energy here it just seems everyone is just kind of like taking a break while they're do of doing the doing the scenes here which is a bit of a shame because i feel that was one way you could kind of maybe overcome some of the the budgetary restraints that this film clearly has so it just comes across as a weird uh slow movie but not not in per not on purpose I and mean, it's not this the plot point isn't particularly slow but just the scenes it's the way the characters act and kind of uh, the fights and stuff they just seem very kind of kind of me me that kind of thing on the plus side i would say the you know it, the set design looks all quite good it, 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 you know it's a pretty decent set and there's obviously the kind of the desert setting all looks quite good and there are some fun and interesting characters here and that's why i feel it's, it's main strength it really does kind of um have a character for everyone so to speak and i quite like the kind of the diversity and the kind of the different sort of dynamics that they have um going back to some of the negatives though i feel some of the acting is is pretty weak here as well and for some reason it insists on having this kind of monologue that's kind of giving you exposition if the film comes sort of goes on and i feel that was a that was a kind of mistake because it almost feels like you're being read a book um but like i said the acting isn't great but you know it's a low budget film not professional actors or, or inexperienced actors or what have you overall it's a kind of it's not a bad film to be honest with you but if you like a real low budget sort of like b-movie horror film with a kind of with a western twist then you may be this you may get a kick out of it but it's pretty forgettable to be quite honest but not terrible i will give this movie a five out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.